Welcome to a new vlog of La Vie Fleury. Today I'm showing you a tutorial uh, of how to do a pretty, sophisticated, natural, with a bit of glitter, uh, beauty makeup look. And uh, to start off, I uh, use this foundation of Academy uh, Scientifique de Beauté, which is a French uh, brand. And so uh, I basically apply that all over my face. Um, and it's especially it works especially well for uh, uh, your eyes. So I'm doing a little more just to show you guys the texture. And I just dab it on slightly to make my eyes look a little brighter and more um, more wide awake. <laughs> Which I also did is uh, dab a little onto my lips because later on, uh, later on, I'll be using a matte lipstick gloss, lip gloss, and so uh, it makes sure the lip gloss stays on better for a longer time and that you don't get bleeding of the lip gloss itself. So uh, now I'm going to apply, uh, apply this um, makeup artist looks uh, contouring kit and it's actually really cool because it consists of two departments. So you have your a bit of a brownish highlight here and the matte compact there. So first off I'm going to start off with the matte one. And uh, what I always do is make a little pouty duck face, such as that and then apply it from the mouth corner up till my ear. Um, now I'll be using the lighter highlighter one and I'm going to apply it up, upwards of the matte compact. And I just made myself a little browner as well, a little more tanned. Uh, by the way, I'm using this Shuumara uh, <laughs> makeup brush, which I really love. Just to make sure it's applied well. Uh, to give a little extra highlight and a little bit more shine, um, I'm using this uh, Givenchy um, highlighter uh, powder which you might have seen already on my Instagram um, it's really pretty so also I don't really want to ruin the prettiness of it but anyway here we go and just again the highlighting should really be from here to here and this is when you really use a little shimmer Also apply a little on the bridge of your nose and a little bit here on top of your lips. Do a little extra I feel such as so. Okay, now I'm using the makeup artist Amour palette. It comes with a little brush, I wish I like to use my own once. And today I'll be using um, the upper two, which is this one and this one. I'm using this one for my eyebrows later on. And um, I'm using these two in the upper part of my eyelid. Uh, and I'll also be using um, this one to make a little bit of a spooky eye, but not too much. Um, so you could always use a brush to apply it, but I always like to use my fingers because the intensity of the eyeshadow uh, is a bit more when you just apply it with your fingers. So I'm using the upper um, lighter colored one 
and I'm applying it underneath my eyebrows and then from the corner of my eye upwards doing the same on the other eye of course Oops, did all my eyebrow. Then I'm using the second one and just making a bit lighter here. And this one you can use all over until your um, until your uh, eyelashes. Such as so. Now, as I said, I'm doing a natural makeup, so I don't want to apply too much dark eyeshadow, but I like a bit of a, um, an eyeliner. So for this, I'm using a special fine brush, which you can buy at uh, Planet Perfume, and it's by uh, Close. It's called the uh, Angler Eyeshadow Shadow Brush, but I'm always also going to use this for my eyebrows, because I feel like for my shape of eyebrows, it works really well. So as I said, I'll be using this color and I just dab it on a bit. Then always I tap a little so that you don't have any excess of uh, eyeshadow powder. And I'm just applying it here. get a bit of a warm mood and I really like it's a bit of an aubergine purple one which works really well with the gold eyeshadow which I used above such as so okay because I used the brush already, you have to clean it. Now, to be quick, I'm just doing it on my hand, which I hope you won't see <laughs> afterwards. Um, and so now I'm using the, um, this brown one. You can also use it to, to contour your eye, but I feel this color really works well for my eyebrows. So I'm just tapping it a bit. And what I will do is just uh, take this corner so and then pull a straight line work up a bit then use it and really shape or oh, as I went a little over to okay and so really shape shape Doing the other one as well, of course. So pull upwards and then the shaping part. And uh, what you should do um, for your eyebrows, you could work, you, you take your nose and then put the eye pencil next to your eye in the corner. And if you look really closely, your eyebrows should go towards there, then you have the perfect brow shape. Um, voila. I saw this one is a little lighter, so I'm applying a bit more. And so uh, we're done with this. <coughs> now, um, as an addition, I'm using this uh, Color Brow Mascara. Since I already used a little powder, I don't want to use too much coloring. Uh, but this is also kind of wax. It's by uh, Name Maker Milano. And uh, it really shapes and also makes sure that the coloring and the shape will last much longer because of the wax. So uh, it's the same strategy basically. Work upwards and then shape and down. I'm doing the other one as well, of course. Up. Such as so. 
Now, um, first I'll apply a little bit of eyeliner. I got this one from uh, the last Christmas Birch box, uh, Belgium box. And uh, it's a little bit black. It's really nice because it's um, kind of a marker. And it's a hard point so you won't get loose ends or whatever. So, apply it. Such as so. And now to add a little glitter, I absolutely love this glitter eyeliner which is by The Body Shop. And uh, what it does, it really makes your eyes pop out and give you a little bit of a Hollywood glamour. So um, I'm just taking some glitter now and I'll apply it above the black eyeliner and, uh, eyeliner and above the purple eyeshadow. Voilà. Now, mascara, very important. Today I'm using this uh, new mascara which is made by MAC. And uh, it's basically a really hard brush with a little, little tiny teeth. So apply, doing this one as well. Oh. This one for the blooper part. And then also downwards down. And to top it off, I'm using this Papa Milano Matte Lip Gloss. It's the color 011. And as you will see, it's a bit of a, a brownish nude colored lip gloss. And as I said, it's a matte colored lip gloss. Now there's a little excess on the uh, top. So I will first put that on my lower lip. And now I'm going to shape my upper lip. Such as so, and now just fill, color everything in. And you're good to go. Have a nice day, guys.